G'day viewers, welcome to my Bonzo channel. Today, I'm lucky enough that I'm able to review a new product and it's called Mac Cleaner Pro. As you know from my previous videos, I really love my Clean My Macs Pro X. But that doesn't mean I'm not open to trying out other programs to see if they do as good or better a job. But for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Mac Cleaner Pro 2. And as I usually do with my reviews, you guys get to see me using it from scratch. So I haven't used it before, this is the first time. So you will see exactly what it's like to use this program straight out of the box. And once you've seen this video, obviously when you get your program, if you decide to go that way, you'll know how to use it properly. So anyway, let's uh, fire it up. There it is, Mac Cleaner 2 Pro. And ooh, click on that. So it looks like it's just accessing all the stuff on my MacBook. And then I would say it'll probably update it on the screen. So this is the overview. Uh, let's see what the help, in case we get stuck, Mac Cleaner Pro help. Okay, that just opens up a browser. Might as well have a quick look at that while it's doing it. All right, so that's basically just a quick rundown of what the program does. And it probably tells you in more detail how to use it. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the actual program itself. Might just make that bigger. I like, it. I like things better when it takes up the whole screen. All right, okay, so overview. It's worked out that I've got 34 gigabytes available out of about 251 gigabytes and it's separated into sections what's taken up what space. Now if I wanted to speed up my Mac, I would select that and then I would probably select speed up. Now I haven't run Clean My Mac Pro for a couple of weeks just so I can give this program a good run for its money. If I were to speed it up now by clicking that button, it would free up the RAM, it would disable some startup apps, it says there's 27 issues there. It would re-index Spotlight, I don't know what that means, and re-index Mail. I suppose by doing that, it would put it in order so things would load up quicker. If I was to hit Clean My Mac, there's six, just over six gigabytes in the cases which it would clean out. Uh, installation files, it's probably like when you install files and then you get rid of it. There's 889 megabytes it would uh, clean out. There's 855 megabytes of language files and there's 11.9 gigabytes in your downloads folder. So that would free up about 19, almost 20 gigabytes. And then if I was to click manage my disk space, I could probably go through my archives, my documents. It would show me what files I had. I could probably click on, say, my this one and see if they'll open that up so we see what's in there. But it does not. Movie files. Well, this is pretty cool, so I can see exactly what the movies are. If I know, like, these ones here, I don't want any more because I've already uploaded them to YouTube. I could remove all those and may do that later. Music files, pictures. Then it's got another section, Pro Tools. I'm not sure if that would run on your... general um, on your free version of Mac Cleaner Pro. Then it's also got an expert mode. So if you're 
pretty good at using a MacBook Pro and you wanted didn't you want to go beyond the simple version, you could click expert mode and it gives you a lot more options. But I'm not going to do that for today. That could be for another day. All right, so let's try speed up my Mac. So it's got 30 issues, so we just click speed up, see how long it takes to fix that. Okay, it gives you an option to review the selections. So, okay, no worries, speed up. It's off and running. Okay, so you gotta give it permission. Okay, we'll do that. So it's obviously working in the background, but it's not telling you where it is. It'd be nice to have a little graph or like if this was actually showing you where the program, how far it's going. So you know how long you've got to wait, but there's no indication of that. One task failed, re-index spotlight. The file was not removed, an error occurred while deleting the file. Okay, not too fussed with that. But it got through the other stuff fairly quickly. Give it a quick retry, see if that does anything. That could be what was holding it up to, because it was trying to get rid of that spotlight. Maybe I was using it somewhere else, but I do not think so. Okay, so it's done that. All right, so we sped up the Mac. All those issues are gone. Let's try clean up my Mac. Now my Mac's running pretty quickly anyway because I regularly use my Clean My Mac X Pro. So there's no point in me testing that part of it now. I just want to see how long it would take to clean up a week's worth of uh, of stuff, but now we'll do this bit. It's going to clean up my caches, installation files, language files, and downloads. And it's about nine. It will free up nineteen point seven gigabytes. So we'll just do that. Confirm deleting to trash application caches will be deleted. Installation files will be deleted. Language resource of apps except the default language will be deleted. All files from the downloads folder will be deleted. Oh, I don't want to delete all my files from the download. I want to be able to pick which ones I want to delete. So I don't like that idea, but it's good that you can unselect that. That may come under the Pro Tools, but we'll do this bit here. It's still 7.8, 7.18 gigabytes. Hit clean up. Still nothing that tells you how far it's progressing. So I suppose once it's done, it's done. It just tells you that it's done what it's doing. It would have been nice to have a progress bar. Never mind. Maybe in the following update. Who knows? If they see this video, they may decide, oh shit, that's a good idea. We'll put that, we'll put that one in. Just so like 7.8 gigabytes. Interesting to notice there's 4,567 items that have been selected in that uh, cleanup process. Okay, that took about three minutes, which wasn't too bad. Let's close that. So that's fixed all that up. Manage this space. So that's basically if I wanted to remove stuff. So you can just go through archives. Oh yeah. So basically you just select which ones you want to get rid of. If there are files in there that you didn't need to run the Mac, I suppose what you could do is you could move that to um, zip, um, 
an external hard drive or something, otherwise you would just delete it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm going to have a look for find duplicate files, uh, delete duplicate photos, videos, music, and other types of duplicates to free up this space. That's a good idea. If you had to do that manually, it would probably take you forever. Duplicate File Finder Pro app is an app download. Yeah, that's unlike Clean My MacBook Pro, Mac Cleaner Pro 2 has separate apps which it install all into one photo. So when you want to do different jobs, it actually accesses by the looks of things those apps. So I'm going to let it do that. Okay, choose a folder. Well, actually, a folder in the photos library. Continue. Well, at least it's giving you a progress bar on this one. Duplicate file finder pro app would like to access files in your download. Yep. Yep. Just check in the different folders. Yep. As you can see, that's working fairly quickly. Extremely fast actually, and it's good that you can actually see the actually has an interface of the progress monitor. And it's found 13,000 duplicates so far. I'm not even sure if Clean My Mac Pro X has this feature, I'll have to look into that. I definitely haven't used it. Doesn't mean it's not there though. So that was checked folders, not how many duplicates. So the fans from my Apple Pros kicked in, you can hear that in the background, a little humming sound. Found 36,000 duplicates. And it's almost near the end. So obviously most of my hard drive is uh, taken up with pictures and photos. Open the photos library in photos. To scan photos library, you need to update it. Open photos library, photos and photos out to update it and rescan. Okay. Pretty good that it allows you to do that. Duplicate files, overview chart, preview your duplicate file by types, bigger similar folders, 20 music pack, resources, Folders that have both common duplicate files and unique files. Click to preview bigger similar folders. Clean up hints. So let's remove one duplicate of Pixel Film Studio Pro Pyro 4 folders to clean up 1.2. Uh, click to select five copies of files to clean up. Similar files. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Merge folders, select duplicate folder. 
Okay, that was based, that was just a little instruction thing for the looks of things. So the duplicate files are here. 14 gigabyte, pictures 3.4, movies 87, music 147. Okay, that's all the duplicate files. Duplicate folders. Pixel Film Pro Pyro. The folders duplicates, so they're unneeded duplicates for removal. Okay, so review and remove. Okay, so there's the two. So Pixel Film Studio Pro Pyro 4. That's probably the older one. So I can get rid of that. Review and remove. Okay. That's 1.2 gigabyte, it's freed up. Get rid of that little thing there. 21.2 gigabytes, okay. Media. Okay. okay, these are obviously the same, same size, same everything. Uh, get rid of the, so I'll get rid of one. So it gives you the choice. It shows you the duplicate folders. Then it's up to you whether to delete it straight away or to look into it a little bit and then delete it later on. Okay, so that one's done. A lot of media stuff. That probably be in different directories, I reckon. So look at Lady Luck. Okay, so one's in Laughing Bird documents and one's in Dropbox. So I'll have to check, look into that. Okay, similar media. It'd be good to see if you can select more than one. So these I'll keep key up wave. So you can probably select that one. Key down wave, select that one. Bong wave, select one of those. Standard button wave. They're all the same size, so I'll probably get rid of those. As you can see, it's actually, so you don't have to do one at a time, you can actually select all the images. So get rid of that one. Okay, so that's what you would do, so that's pretty good. So it's, it's finding all the duplicate files, get rid of the one you don't want. Review and remove, remove. Continue. All right, updates are arriving in photos as well. Okay, like that. Let's see what else it's got. Okay, similar media, similar folders, same sort of thing. Folders that have both common duplicates and unique files. Show a sample of similar folders. There we go, let me show you what that's like. So this version just explains what it's doing. You can merge the folders. Click to merge similar folders. Okay, we'll do that for another time. So that's Duplicate File Pro. Yeah, why not? We'll save that for later. That's pretty nifty. Okay, let's go back to uninstall applications. Let's see what that does. Completely uninstall apps, manage extensions, disable startup programs, and optimize your system performance. Okay, so let's disable unneeded startup programs. Okay, we've got to launch it. Let's launch that app cleanup. Yep, let's go baby, launch app cleaner.
Uh, yep, no worries, accept. Uh, clean as Lord Pro needs access to down. Yep, you can have that access. Yep, no problems. Now, the one thing that um, every time I start up, it always loads up Chrome. Now, Chrome's been playing up lately. It, for some reason, you know, it always switches between bloody pages. It's annoying the crap out of me, but I haven't done anything about it. Even though, um, even though Clean My Mac Pro X will work. do that, I haven't used it because I was going to do another video on that uh, another time, but I would I'm just going to do one on this one to see how it works. So let's have a look for Chrome. There you go, Google Chrome. I don't want to uninstall it. Startup program, that's what it should be. But if I wanted to uninstall it, I would hit that, uninstall. That just just like Clean My Mac Pro, it doesn't just uninstall the app, but it gets rid of all the other apps that's related to it, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna actually do startup programs. Startup programs. So as far as these are all the programs that my MacBook starts up every time I boot it up and I could go through that and say okay these are the ones that I don't want it to load and then it would stop it from loading automatically thereby freeing up some memory which all in all would make the computer run a little bit faster. I'm not sure what that is. Okay we'll get rid of that. Go back to Mac Cleaner Pro Analyze disk usage. Let's see what that does. It's in, it's interesting to see how Mac Cleaner Pro has all the different apps in a separate folder, so it loads them up as you need it. Whereas Clean My Mac Pro, everything's loaded up in one spot, so you don't need to swap in and out, which I think is a lot better. Uh, let's give you access to all the bits and pieces. Yep, you can do that. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Ah, Twenty little um, progress bar. Grant access. Which one? Slash to open system preferences. Okay, so we've got to open system preferences. And then you've got to drag that in there. Uh, let's get in the open. Let's lock that up. So 329 gig. No, oh, I don't know what that does, but it looks good. Whee! Okay. Applications. Biggest files. Scan a selected folder. Oh, okay, so you've got to scan the folder first. There's your selected folder. I'm not going to get rid of any of my applications yet. I suppose I could get rid of Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Peter's stuff, scan the folder. And it gives you a breakdown of all your folders. Which isn't too bad. Downloads. A 
kell bűnből mű, amiből lehet. Fogunk stólorát, amiből lehet, 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 And they're showing you what one you selected down below. Give it that. Give it that. Give it that. So it lets you select all the files and you just click remove. Are you sure? Yep. And they're all gone. Dropbox. I'm not going to worry about Dropbox for now. All right, back to overview. So what do I think of Mac Cleaner Pro 2? It isn't as easy to use as Clean My MacBook Pro X. But having said that, I probably thought the same thing when I first ranked Clean My Mac Pro X because I wasn't proficient in using that program. And so I reckon this would be the same. Overall, it's not bad. I still like Clean My MacBook Pro X better, but like I was saying before, it's probably because I've used that for so long now, I know what I'm doing. This is a brand new piece of software which I have never opened up before. It does just about all that you need it to do. It's not as pretty as Clean My Mac Pro X, but it gives those people who are more knowledgeable about their Mac once they enable the pro mode, pro mode to do to delve more into the workings of the computer and delete, move things, whatever files to make things work quicker. It will find those files for you a lot quicker, and that gives you the options on how on what ones you want to keep and what ones you don't. If I had to pick between the two, clean my Mac Pro X would definitely be my first option. If anyone out there already uses Mac Cleaner Pro 2, I would love to hear what your thoughts on this program is. Uh, just leave a comment down below. I hope this video was of some value to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Guys, as always, I loved having you here. I hope to see you for my next video, which will be a Laughaholics video. It's something I do every week. And um, until then, guys, stay safe, look after yourself. This is Peter from my... Bonzo Channel signing off. Catch you later, guys.